Okay, so now we're going to play with the gyro a little, just show you how it works and what it does and how it makes it drive a bit better. Um, so first we're going to turn it on in, yeah, let's have a look, we'll turn it on in just normal gyro mode and show you how that makes a difference. Um, with this gyro, that's the, the carbon one, it's got remote gain on it, so you can uh, basically adjust how sensitive it is and even turn it off from the remote, which is handy. Um, so first we'll turn it on. Now when you turn it on you'll see it flash really fast and that's just it initialising. When it's doing that you can't move it. So you'll see that. Oops, so. Now, see how it's flashing like that? That means it's um, basically not calibrated right because you haven't started it in the heading off mode. And that's what I've been doing wrong all this time, and that's why it doesn't bloody work, so... Now you'll see in this mode, which is this normal gyro mode, it'll just sort of apply a certain amount of correction based on how... how much you turn it. Which is kind of handy, but... for how we want it, we want it in heading lock mode, and what that basically does is it'll reference itself to a, a position, and basically if it gets moved any amount from that, it'll keep just powering the wheels until it's back there, so when we set it up for that mode, you'll see if we turn it and just leave it, it'll just continually try and correct itself. So, about 30% gain, which is heaps for this. Now we'll turn it on again. You should see it flash and then come on solos. There we go. Yep, so now we're in the heading lock mode. So, if we just turn it a bit, you'll see it'll keep on powering the wheels. More and more. Until we're back to the centre, so... You can imagine that when um, you stop spinning the robot, instead of just applying a certain amount of correction, and sort of coming to a sort of brisk stop in a just random direction, it'll pretty well stop the robot and turn it back to exactly where you face it, so it's so much easier to drive. So, I'll give you a little bit more of a demo. It'll sort of speed the wheels up a bit more to get it back in position. Back we go. And back there we go. See? Now we'll uh, go take it for a bit of a drive and just show you how much it makes it better to drive.